Hello everyone. Today's message title is Who Can Get Wisdom from Heaven? The Bible chapter and verses Galatians first nine to twenty nine. Let's study to read this Bible. Let's pray. Via my Lord, please let us realize the words of your Bible after reading and meditating. And please give us filling of the Holy Spirit and the revelation of the Spirit of you. Please let us save all nations, all souls of the people. Pray. In the name of Christ Jesus, Amen. Galatians first nine. Let's read. And so, from the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will. In all spiritual wisdom and understanding, we have to realize about the knowledge of His will, Christ's will, Messiah's will, in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Understanding. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, says to us uh, through Apostle Paul, "Do we have to pray for him? We need to pray for brothers and sisters and all the un- unbelievers, all the unbelievers, because the Holy Spirit pours graceful gifts." In prayer, our prayer. Want to enjoy graceful gifts of the Holy Spirit because wisdom and cleverness are grace, graceful gifts of the Holy Spirit. We can prepare to know properly about the Lord, about the Jesus Christ, about the Holy Spirit. About the kingdom next, new world later. About the kingdom next, new world later. We have to realize. Ten. Let's read. To lead a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him. Bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge, knowledge of God, a spiritual knowledge of God. Also, what、uh, should we do in a session prayer for? Intercession. Prayer is just pray, pray for the other people. Pray for the other people is intercession prayer. Did you get what I mean? We have limits at、uh, controlling ourselves, being temperate. And keeping ourselves, being temperate, and keeping 
ourselves. Therefore, we need to do intercession prayer for this, so that Holy Spirit can create this, can create this. The eleven. Let's read. May you be strengthened with all power according to His glorious might. For all the endurance and patience with joy. No matter what you commit, the prepare, sorry, the prayer of intercession for it, so that the Holy Spirit can administer. Can administer. We can get a victory easily, even in uh, this uh, arrangement, this arrangement and hardships. Only when Holy Spirit do this, when Holy Spirit do this. Twelve. Let's read. Giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share. In the inheritance of the saints in light, what light? Eternal light of Christ Savior. Do you appreciate to the Lord? What are there in inheritances of the saints? The mightiest inheritance is entering to millennial kingdom. With Jesus sacred, sacred body, divine body, we will be divine body like Jesus Christ. Yearn earnestly. Let's go to the millennial kingdom of Christ in covenantal faith. Covenantal faith. Thirteen. Let's read. He has delivered us uh, from the dominion of darkness and transferred. Us to the kingdom of His beloved Son. His beloved Son is Christ. If you receive the Holy Spirit, we are entering into eternal heaven because Jesus had smashed the head of Satan, crushed the head of Satan, broke. The head of Satan and power of death and authority of hell, as Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Christ. Fourteen. Let's read. Who can solve the problem of my sins? Who can solve the problem of my sins? Though I can't help going to eternal hell. Cause of original sin, cause of original sins, a sin. Who can solve solve the problem of sins, an original sin? Or the Jesus who achieved the work as Christ, achieved work as Christ. Can solve this problem because the blood is the original life of flesh. That's why Jesus Christ, the Lord, bled on the cross and devoted his life. Actually, devoted his life. Actually, this story is historic fact. Historic fact. Fifteen. Let's read. 
He is the he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Jesus is the image of the Lord. Jesus is the first being of all creations. Sixteen, let's read. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities, principalities and authorities, all things were created through him and for him. All things were created by Jesus Christ, visible and invisible, thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities, all things. All things were created through Him, through Him, and all things were created for Jesus. Christ, for Jesus Christ. Can you realize in spiritually, uh, Jesus created all of the, the seen and all of the unseen, all of the power arise from the Lord and created for the Lord. That's why Jesus is a Christ. This is the reason. That's why Jesus is the Christ. Who is Christ? Buddha? Or Confucius? Or Socrates? They are just human, human like us with sins. With sins. Or can really Religious leaders are, leaders can be Christ. Can religious leaders can be Christ? No, never. Why? They have and they had original sin. From separating with the Father God, from Adam, our forefather. Only Jesus, the Son God, is the Christ. So Jesus can save us. Only Jesus can save us because Jesus is the Messiah. Father God sent to the earth before about 2,000 years ago. 17, let's read. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. Likewise, all the things in this world are seized by the Lord Jesus Christ. 18. Let's read. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that is, that in everything he might be preeminent. Jesus is the Lord and the Creator who became head of all saints and resurrected. As deity three days after death. 19. Let's read. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Meditate about a fullness. All kinds of fullness can be done by Jesus. 
before the moment that Jesus comes again is the moment that all the things in heavens and earth are unified. Unified. Therefore, the moment that Jesus comes again is the moment that all the things in heavens and earth are unified. 20, let's read. And through him to reconcile to himself and all things, all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his throat. All the things in this world are cursed by Adam's original sin. Likewise, the sinful evils were felonious behaviors and grave real liches. Grave realities. However, this curse and disaster was resolved legally by Jesus' precious Blood, honorable blood, pure blood. When Jesus comes again, persons turn into perfect bodies, and this world does so change refreshingly. Refreshingly. 21. And you, who once were estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds. We became an enemy against the absolute do to sin. Do. 22, let's read. He has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death, in order to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him. Irreproachable before him. If you repent your sins and believe in Jesus is the Christ and receive Holy Spirit into your heart, your heart, you can be existence able to communicate with the Lord, the Creator God, because Jesus is reconciled, sacrifice. Jesus is a reconciled the sacrifice. 23, let's read. Provided that you continue in the faith, stubble and steadfast, steadfast, not shifting from the hub of the gospel which you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. Do you have a faith? What's faith? Covenantal faith? Biblical faith? Evangelical faith? We have to save all nations in the Bible. In the Holy Spirit, in the Jesus is the Christ. In this confess, in this confess, in this confess. What faith do you have? I pray to bless in the name of the Lord that you will be a person having covenantal faith. Base it on the Bible. Base it on the Bible. 
is not based on my consciousness or thoughts or mind or heart. Without a covenant of faith, biblical faith, evangelical faith, never. We have to have covenant of faith. We have to have biblical faith, evangelical faith. Therefore, Holy Spirit works in on this covenant of faith. When we see world with a spiritual sight and see people with a faithful sight in biblical faith, all the people deserve to be saved and to be served. I give glory to be a living God. Will give someone privilege to be joined to millennium kingdom, to pour abundantly the more graceful gifts of the Holy Spirit. To people who is saving lives of people to trust in Lord intactly. To pour, what's pour? To be joined. Some privilege to be joined to Millennium Kingdom of Christ to pour abundantly filled. The more graceful gifts of the Holy Spirit to people who is saving lives of people to trust in the Lord intactly, intactly, wholly, soundly. 24. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I complete what is lacking in Christ's afflictions. For the shake of his body, that is, the church. It is a really difficult way. Should we go through this hardy, hardness for mission of salvation? This is beyond our power and will, but encroach to earn our needly with the covenant of belief. That is possible when the Lord dominates, uh, sorry, the Lord donates heavenly graceful gifts. Heavenly graceful gifts. 25, let's read. Of which I became a minister according to the divine office which was given to me for you to make the word of God fully known. What is the reason that we became a children of God, children of the Lord, and became the walkers of Christ's church? It's not for receiving worldly glory, worldly glory, no, and it's for serving church in the name of Jesus, and it's for let us be led by Lord to be able to realize soundly word of Jesus. It's not for receiving worldly glory, and it's for serving church in the name of Jesus, and is for a let us be led by Lord to be able to realize the soundly words of Jesus, our Messiah. 26. Let's read. The mystery hidden for ages and generations, but now made manifest to his saints. What secret was revealed to saints? It means that the Lord existed in the form of words and it means a trickle advent of the sin of the Son of the Son Lord who was with the Father 
Lord. 27. Let's read. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is a Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ, hoping of glory, came to find us as all the Spirit is being in us. We have to appreciate this because they don't know this secret. Secretly power of heaven. We have missions be delivered. When we deliver these, deliver these, deliver these, as Jesus wished, those who get a revelation will go to the eternal life's world, world to realize it. The eternal life's world to realize it. 29, let's read. Him we proclaim a warning every man and a teaching every man in all wisdom that we might prison every man and marcher in Christ. Therefore, we have to deliver to each person. Each person. You can do it. Why? Holy Spirit dwells in your heart, in your mind, in your thought, in your mental, your physical, your everything, your life. You can do it in the Holy Spirit. Me too. We have to transfer to a grade, uh, a grade at each person because the spiritual levels of each soul are different. Different each other. Different each other. Step by step by step by. Different each other. 29. For this, for this I toil, striving with all the energy which he mightily inspires within me. So we can afford to interest, uh, to trust in the Holy Spirit who is working in us consistently, constantly, continuously. We can dedicate what covenantal belief. Who among you want to enjoy this glory? I bless you in the name of Christ Jesus to be used by Holy Spirit our God and Trinity God. I bless I bless you already. Conclusion Wisdom of heaven is in Lord the Father. Wisdom of heaven is in the Christ the Son God. Wisdom of heaven is a graceful gift in the Holy Spirit God. In Holy Trinity God. Therefore, we can daily prostitute the Lord with holding on Jesus Christ the all. What will happen when we get wisdom and cleverness and infinite Holy Spirit by recasting earnestly in this finite world? Consider graceful gifts of a wisdom given by Holy Spirit precious. If you want to serve the Lord, shouldn't we know? Shouldn't we realize? Shouldn't we believe it properly to go to the proper place we must go? 
whatever you do, grace the promised world, the promised words, covenant, covenantal messages, and yearn infinitely and earnestly, earnestly. The Lord promised. Uh, the Lord promised to fill our mouth when we open ours, our mouth. So what we need to do is just believe in these promised words and recast our niche. Our niche. I pray to bless in the name of the Lord so that you can be oh uh, can be warriors of faith conquering both spiritual world and reality by believing promise in the capacity of the saints who live in the last era in the last era and enjoy Infinite wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Let's read. The Lord of love, the Lord of fairness. We appreciate the Lord's grace. Please let us enjoy the Lord's heart. Please let us get the wisdom and cleverness of the Holy Spirit. So that we can use this for a passage of a salvation to save souls and love souls. To secure our all vulnerable parts and please let us experience all the world prepared by the Lord with joy. With gratitude we pray in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ. Amen.